Well, I am back with my latest project here. This is a Lilu L I L O U U O 2 sailboat kit and all this beautiful plywood um, which I just finished unpacking about 10 minutes ago is from Chase Small Craft in Maine. Um, you can see my lumber kits here up on the shelves I just built yesterday. Uh, the pallet it came on. Um, the chipboard is just for the cradle. Uh, let's see, this here is a piece of scrap. Got some scrap laying over here so that I can, uh, in case I need extra stuff or anything. But um, all the masts are right here and they're all bird mouth cut. Um, just absolutely beautiful CNC machine parts and his proprietary uh, scarfing joint, which is incredible, absolutely amazing. I've got a, uh, here's a test piece that he made and uh, pop that out and you can see the, the joint and it's, uh, it's not tapered, it's just cut in steps. And so when it all goes together, it's just a uh, one beautiful fit and uh, it's just going to be awesome. The plans called out for uh, like a finger joint instead of actual scarfs and uh, Clint recommended his uh, his joint for strength. So this is where, where I'm at. Um, I built these two benches last week and I've got a bunch of still pictures of, of that process and um, just installed three really bright uh, garage LED lights so I can be out here working when it gets dark I've got some uh, propane heaters this is uh, southern Georgia though so let's see in the garage it's about 64 today it says it's 70 degrees outside but the garage is a little bit cooler so this should um, I'm hoping for about four months worth of work uh, to get the basic hull structure all completed. Um, I believe uh, all the little fine details will probably take me through the summer. Maybe get on the water by next fall. I did uh, pick up a two-stroke short shaft mercury from uh, where I used to live down in Rincon, Georgia. This is a 2000 model. Uh, he put a brand new carburetor on it. I just put a new water pump in it and it runs perfect. So uh, this is my project. I was kind of hoping to get it about two months ago, but um, Clint was a little backed up you know, due to the Corona virus junk and stuff like that. So. I will keep you guys updated on this uh, this sailboat, and it's an 18-foot open sailboat uh, designed by a Frenchman named Francois Vivier, and he makes some beautiful boats. So uh, check him out on the web. Um, awesome boats that this guy makes, and he translates the plans into English. So if anyone was interested here in the States or that don't speak French or don't read French um, he can he can hook you up so that's it for now and uh, I will keep you guys updated on the progress thanks for watching